Let's welcome Oliver Slope to the show. He's with Blue Line Futures in Chicago. And Oliver, uh, speaking of this wheat market here, I was reading where uh, it looks like they got some favorable rain in areas of Russia where they grow some of their wheat crop. And maybe that's kind of taken uh, some of the wind out of the bull sails here on the wheat market right now. What else is weighing on the wheat trade? Well, I think that has certainly added to some pressure here to start this week's trade. I also think, uh, you know, you look at the charts. Uh, we had a technical failure against 528 to 530 for that Chicago contract. Uh, that was a big pivotal level for us. If we would have got a conviction close out above there, I wouldn't be surprised to see, you know, an add to a long position. But the failure there has, you know, brought us down here towards the low end of the range, 512 to 514 is going to be the inflection point on a closing basis. If we close below here today, I wouldn't be surprised to see that take us a little closer towards five bucks. And if we do continue to bleed out wheat, perhaps that puts a little bit more pressure on corn ahead of this USDA report uh, on Thursday as well. Yeah, when you look at the corn, uh, I imagine you're going to be paying close attention to these ending stocks numbers. Uh, are you going to be more interested in domestic or the world ending stocks? You know, we're, we're going to be watching both very closely, uh, and there's a lot of anticipation going into this report, and there's a lot of talk that with the funds position the way they are that we could potentially see uh, a big short cover and rally if we were to get a friendly report. But looking at the way the options are pricing here early uh, uh, this week to start this week's trade, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of fear of a huge breakout or a breakdown. So right now the options market and the options Makers are, are telling us that, you know, maybe 330 is going to be a little bit of a sticking point for the market. So we do, do get a new fundamental catalyst to give us new direction.